tug of war over the future of the Tampa Bay Rays. The debate now heating up after Major League Baseball's top man threatened to intervene. Take a listen. The intervene in this process, go down and find out, frankly, what the hell is going on. Well, local leaders are now dancing around the topic, so our Chris Trankman is getting some facts for you, looking at what it would take to get one of baseball's best teams a new stadium. He joins us live outside the trop with an in-depth look. Chris? Well, Bud Zelig did the exact same thing six years ago in South Florida, and the lesson learned may be that Ray's attendance may not be a Pinellas County problem or a Hillsborough County problem, but actually a Florida problem. They built it and they didn't come. The Rays ballpark has been the Tropicana field of nightmares when it comes to attendance. And baseball commissioner Bud Selig is considering sending a major league representative to jumpstart the negotiations on finding a new stadium location. It's not going to be an absolute slam dunk if the Rays relocate to Hillsborough County. Sport business professor Michael Mondello says while the TROP ranks a lowly 29th in attendance, the Rays might be following an already failed model, South Florida. Pro sports is a tough market right now, and the, and the fans, I think a lot of them are just, uh, they're pushing back a little bit for a variety of reasons. In 2007, Bud Selig promised Miami a surge in attendance and helped negotiate construction of a new ballpark. How has that worked out? The Marlins ranked 28th in attendance in 2011. The year the new park opened in 2012, they jumped to 18th. This year, the Marlins ranked dead last. And at what cost? Here's what Tampa Bay might be paying for a new facility. Miami's park cost $650 million, but $409 million came in public money from deferred bonds, which will ultimately cost taxpayers $2.4 billion for a high-tech, retractable roof building. Would you be willing to pay more, maybe in a tax, maybe, to, to help... Uh fund the cost of a new facility? Uh, I don't know. I have to look at that deal. Add a penny, you know. <laughs> Add a penny. I'm all about it. But in a low tax climate, finding funds in either Hillsborough or Pinellas could be a challenge, especially with no guarantee to solve the Rays' main problem, getting fans to the games. Maybe baseball doesn't survive uh, in the state of Florida. We, we haven't had a lot of success supporting it. Now, Rays... Proponents point out that Tampa Bay is not Miami. Down there, they have ownership problems. The team unloaded its best players. A promising sign for the Rays. Their TV viewership continues to be among the best in baseball. We're live in St. Petersburg. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News. Thank you, Chris. Well, tonight, Rays owner Stu Sternberg weighs in on trying to break that stalemate with the city of St. Petersburg, and you will hear from him coming up in sports.